Hey everybody, welcome back to this exciting episode of Bob TV. In a drama free zone. Okay, now this is a. I'm just gonna blow this off. And all them chunks away. And I'm gonna. You guys, show you guys every step of this process along the way. Okay, this is starting clean. I've already got my mold released, washed off that edge. Remember that? I did that a while back. But this is just starting with a clean fiberglass. Okay. flange around there to hold that back part round. You know what I mean? This flange back here. I'll trim it down afterwards. That's going to be open. That's going to be an open end. I'll be able to get in there and put my tape, my joining tape on these fuselages in the hatch holes and in the back. That's how we're going to glue it together. Now, alright, people come on. Take a guess what I'm going to do next. Huh? I'm going to wax it on. I'm going to take the old honey wax. I love this stuff. I really like it. Works very well. Now I'm going to wax it on. Hey everybody, I got out a round of t-shirts and I'm going to get out another round tomorrow, okay? I got these t-shirts going all over the world. I got some in the Netherlands. I got uh, some going to Sweden. I got a couple going to England. There is just almost a, not a corner of this earth going to have a B1 Bomber t-shirt walking around. <laughs> I've got one in Italy. I've got them in France. I've got them things covering the globe. And I've still got more people. You guys want to walk around in a t-shirt? I don't care where you live. You got a, if you got a mailbox <laughs> or a post office box or know the mailman <laughs> and he knows where you live we'll get you a t-shirt but I've got them things all over the world Thailand it's, oh, it's, oh uh, Josh lives in Singapore remember our buddy Josh good buddy ain't heard from Josh in a while oh Josh you still out there he's in like high school Got some new friends in Australia sending them t shirts out, guys. All them t shirts are on their ways. You guys actually ought to have been getting some by now. But I'm sending out another batch tomorrow. And uh, anyone wants one, now's the time to get them. I got them in stock, all sizes, large through triple X. Got some of the camo green ones. I like them camo colored ones. Anyway, back to the plug. And get his getter waxed up, man. Don't be shy with that wax either. Let that wax know you love it. Put some big old pieces in there. Smash it up. Wax it on. Definitely wants this 
Missouri waxed. But, uh, you guys, over the next week or so, it's going to be pretty exciting around the shop. Going to bust one of these dummy cheap fuselages out. Paul's working on the landing gear. We're going to have bulkheads in no time. And remember how close them wings are, people. Remember, I got my plugs made. All I got to do is put my panel lines on them. And they're ready to mold. It will not be long, people. We are going to be flying thunder chiefs. I think they're going to fly good. Well, I'll tell you what. They fly anything like them F 100s. I'm gonna be dancing naked in the street. Y'all gonna have to call the little boys in the loony truck. <laughs> Did you see that? Let me see my neighbors. Y'all better come get Bob. He done lost it this time for reals. <laughs> out there dancing naked in the street. I think it will. Don't you all think it's going to fly real good, don't you? Remember, the bigger they are, the better they fly. These, you know, the wind don't bother them, and they're just more like a real airplane. You know, they're just awesome. They feel awesome in your hand. I mean, they, you know, that big F-16 feels so good flying it. You know, because they ain't jumping around doing stuff you didn't tell it to do, and. Just a big difference between small airplanes and big ones, you know? We're going to do this a couple more times tonight, people. I might even start spraying my part off, but I'm going to show you every little step. So after I get a couple coats of wax on this, depends on how late it is, how I feel like I'm working. <laughs> Might spray some part on. Yeah, I think I will. I kind of want it just ready to lay up some parts tomorrow, you know. Go to the red store in the morning. Start my 26 hour layup. So it took the other side 26 hours. That's like a marathon, man. <laughs> Set my alarm clock. Ten minutes. Put a coat of wax on. I'm gonna wax that off. I'm gonna do it a couple more times. Then we'll make a movie showing the part off. <laughs>